tire squealing. 142 mile an hour. Oh my God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are here at NCM Corvette Museum Track with Surface Tanks. This guy's on bay over here with his brand new Track Pack 2020 GT500. We got some C8s behind us. Today's gonna be a big day. Today's gonna be a lot of fun. Sit back, grab your popcorn, enjoy the video. Let's go. Track Pack 2020 GT500. for the sound deadening <laughs> that you got in trouble for yeah, with a factory yeah. car yeah, yeah yeah it's not gonna get too hot do you think uh, i hope not <laughs> so, i hope not c8 corvettes these things are breathtaking absolutely gorgeous if you've not been around a c8 in person definitely find one go check it out yeah like i was saying the last time that i was here in a gt 350r round track the gt 350 especially the r is honestly all that they say it is but this is going to be my first experience with the 2020 gt500 on track so excited but we're going to finish up getting that car prepped so steve before we begin how does this compare to the r well in your I'm, opinion i'm still learning the car of course yeah but i can tell you just after the few sessions i've had it out it's it's definitely faster it's faster it's it's actually quite surprising that somehow they figured out to have just as much grip Really? That, that, you know, as the 350R. This yeah. car has just as much grip, it has more brakes, and it's a lot faster in a straight line. So yeah, I mean, it's just, it really are massive. is all around faster than the 350R. That's Which car crazy. I like better, I'm still kind of, I, I, up in the I'm about. soaking it up. I'm soaking yeah, DCT versus, you know, a stick shift manual in the R. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, bigger brakes, basically kind of like a, the suspension all around, just a little bit more beefy than the 350R, so they say. Yeah, um, it's and about then, 400 pounds heavier, and still, that's why I said it's pretty impressive that they figured out a way that it does have just as much corner does it, capability. Does it feel as like nimble? You can feel the additional weight, like it, I'll show you back here in, in the S sections where you're transitioning left to right, you yeah. can definitely feel the additional weight, Okay. but it, it has an insane amount of grip. <laughs> well, I'm excited, man. So yeah, the last time you had me on track, I was a little bit nervous. I've only been scared in cars like twice, and I think well, maybe one thunder. or both times was <laughs> with you. <laughs> I got sick after the last time. I remember uh, we were here with Tunnel Chaser, and send it Steve, send it Steve threw up. Steve sick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, alrighty. 760 horsepower, let's go. Right. Track pack 2020 GT500, let's do it. Alright, this should be fun. This is gonna be a blast. That's not good for the sound limits, but no. He's probably gonna question me about it here. Can I quiet it down? I tried a little something. I got some fiberglass packed around the tips. Oh, okay. Here we go. videos are kind of hard to watch but it's tough to put on video the experience oh, oh my god how this feels in the car going from side to side the blood coming from like one side of your brain to the other but we're doing i mean he's doing incredible speed 130 mile an hour just yanking the car around and then 
brakes, brakes, brakes. Absolutely just mind blowing how glued to the ground these cars are, how fast they are, how capable. Oh my gosh. So composed. This thing is so brilliant. I remember very much that riding in the like R. This is medium pace right there. Yeah, this is that was way. not all out by any means. You had the AC rolling the whole time. Woo! <laughs> you had the AC going the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> so that apparently that was just like a medium, medium speed. Um, I remember being the R and it was brutal. But we weren't I was in a harness, I wasn't getting tossed and turned <laughs> as much. And uh that I probably was a 17 lap we did, so that was actually faster than when you were in the R. We Holy did like crap. A, at the time we did like a, it was like a 20 right yeah we because we were on different tires yeah, yeah. We were in like the 19 range 20 range i'm gonna tell you i'm impressed the way this car digs in like that yeah i mean on the next one we'll turn it up a little bit so oh, let's see, let's see what here it we does. go <laughs> we're gonna turn it up let's do it let's go it melted and burned oh wow yep so that's crazy yeah most people want like you know exhaust systems that make the car louder you're gonna need one that makes it quieter <laughs> we'll figure something out. yeah so not full speed nothing like that uh just still learning the car and uh already about three seconds around the lap faster than when i was with the r which has been modified uh pretty heavily so very impressed very impressed these are the stock michelin cup two tires uh everything you see here is as it would show up to the dealership as you would buy it really really impressed with the car so yeah this might be like i might make this like a two-part video because the next one he's going to turn it up yeah we're going to end this video i think we're going to pick it up for a part two i don't know we'll just see how this plays out but stay tuned to the channel and see how this thing does turned up what i mean by turned up is he's going to go crazy 
in these corners crazy so very very impressed with the track pack 2020 gt500 guys um i would love to know how a regular one would compare that'd be a cool video a base model gt500 2020 how that would compare to a track pack out here but uh, maybe that will come in the future. Definitely check out, again, Serpent Sang's. Yeah, lots of fun. So we're going to pick it up on the round. We're going to pick it up in the second video, I think. And then uh, it's been a blast, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Let's see, how do the tires look after all this? Oh, yeah, they're nubby. Look at that. Sport Cup 2s. Let's check out the rear.